Today we're making mustache cookie pops. This is Jen from Cookies, Cupcakes, and Cardio. So today we're going to be making this really fun treat just in time to celebrate Movember. Movember is a time when we focus on general men's health and there's lots of fundraisers and all the men tend to grow really nasty mustaches. And so we're going to celebrate that with a fun way by making these cookie pops. Let's get going. To make the mustache cookies, we're going to start with lollipop sticks and I'm using longer ones because I want you to be able to hold them up to your lip. We're going to need black sanding sugar, flour, a recipe for sugar cookie dough, which we have up on the channel and we'll link for you in the description box. And I'm going to be using this mustache lollipop mold. It's a Wilton one, so you can get it anywhere that Wilton is sold. And in Canada, I got this at Bulk Barn. We're also going to be using gray, brown, and black royal icing, and they're all fitted with a number five tip, but you can put any small round tip on that you would like to. The first thing we need to do is to flour our mold so that the cookie doesn't stick when we put, in to, when we put the dough in. So I'm just getting in all the different creases here in the mustache, just like that. And then you're gonna take a piece of dough and you're just going to press it in and press it quite hard so it gets all of the creases into it. And then taking a, um, a sharp knife, you're just going to run your knife along it like this to cut off any of the excess, like that. And then if anything caught up, just press it back down like that. And then to get it out, all you have to do is just flip it over and out it pops. So transfer it to a parchment lined tray and then take your lollipop stick and press it in like that. These cookies are going to bake for at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about nine minutes in my oven. So you want to watch it for about eight to 10 in yours. You'll know your cookies have finished baking when they're slightly golden brown around the outside. You're going to want to pull them out at that point, let them cool to room temperature and get your royal icing ready. Once the cookies are cool and you have your royal icing ready, um, which we have videos up for how to make royal icing and other videos on how to use royal icing, you're going to put your number five tip in and I'm just going to follow along the creases that are already in there from the mold and you want your royal icing to be on the stiffer side not a flooding royal icing because you want it to be able to hold these mustache shape like which are the individual hairs and the cool thing about this is that mustaches tend to be a little bit messy so you can overlap the hairs however you want to and you can layer them and all sorts of things like that so i'm just going around I'm going to do one layer first and then I'm going to shape it up like you might find an actual mustache. Finish this side. And then bringing it up to the center like this. And then with the black one, it's just a little extra touch and you obviously don't have to do it. But I, found, I have this little really small sanding sugar and I just thought it looked pretty neat sprinkling it on top of the black mustache. So I'm gonna put this one to dry. It's gonna to need to dry at least overnight for about 24 hours if you can have it wait that long. Cause then that way when you touch it, you won't have any spreading of the royal icing. So I'm gonna do a couple more of the other colors right up next. For this curly mustache, I'm going to take my brown and I'm just going to follow along the top, starting kind of in the middle here and then around the top and then make the curl on the initial top one. And then just coming back around, the rest of them will just join up just underneath that curl, just like this. And just keep going down, starting in the middle and then just gradually begin to stop going as far and when you're getting to the edge of the, of the mustache over here. One more, I think. And then to the other side, going around in a little curl, following along like that, 
stopping just when we get to the edge. You can do these um, mustaches any way you want. This is just one way. And if you change up your tip, you'll have different ways to do them. So there's lots of different unique mustaches you can make. And if you make some, make sure you post them on one of our Facebook pages or our Twitter page so then we can see what they look like. So that's another way how to do one of the mustaches. One more with the gray royal icing. So I just chose the brown and the black and the gray just to be kind of the common mustache colors. But again, just like how you can decorate them any way you want to, you can also use any color you want to. So just finish this one up. And when I finish these ones, this one I'll be back to close the video. So there you go everybody, how to make mustache cookie pops, which are perfect for any November party you might be heading to. So thanks for watching. Remember if you make them, share them on one of our social media sites. We'd love to see them. Thanks again for watching. See you next time.